Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Many of you requested that I do a photo edit in Luminar Neo. So here we are, I'm gonna do a landscape photo edit and you will see how easy it is to use. Also, there's a link down in the description if you wanna try this software out. It is truly amazing, so I do recommend it. Let's dive right in. In Luminar Neo and as you can see it's very minimalistic you have pretty much three pages your catalog page where you import photos your presets page if you want to apply any presets and then this is your edit page where we will be editing the photo now if you want to import photos go here add photo folder or image click on this select the photo and then just bring it into Luminar Neo I have this one already selected and this is a raw photograph shot with my Sony Alpha 7 IV and I have no idea what lens this was. Oh yeah, the 70 to 180 Tamron. Doesn't matter, this is the raw photo. Now I will jump straight into the edit tab and well, this is where we edit the photo. You have here your tools, which are all the tools that you can use in Luminar Neo and then you have your edits. So all the tools that you will apply will then appear here in the edits page. And since this is a raw photo, we already by default have two of these raw develop and noiseless raw features already in there. They're all set to the default values and well, we can change them to develop the raw photo. So first of all, if you click on the profile, you can select your camera's picture profile. So this would be the standard picture profile. If I was to shoot this in JPEG, this is how it would come out or the natural or you know black and white and all the different ones. I'm gonna use Luminar default and I'm gonna start with this one. So first, let's adjust the exposure a bit. Now this would be like your classical photo editing, something like this. So before and after, it's a little more balanced. Then I'm going to go into the colors, add a bit more vibrance. And after this, I'm gonna go into the sharpness because it's a raw photo and it's not sharpened. Luminar Neo does not sharpen your photos by default. So this is how the actual raw photo looks. And I'm going to have to do some raw sharpening. So before, after, maybe a little more. I don't need to do any noise reduction and I'm going to apply all the optics corrections. So there we go. So this is our raw developed photograph. Now on top of this, we start adding effects. So we go to the tools and just, you know, play around with the many tools that Luminar Neo has to offer. First, I'll apply a vignette like this and I can actually choose my subject. So I want this area to be bright or this area to be bright. I'm just going to click somewhere here like this. Not so much. So I'm gonna create kind of a moody, vivid forest vibe. Moody, vivid, I don't know if that makes sense, but you'll see. Then I'll jump into right here, dodging and burning. Dodging and burning means lightening up or darkening down an image, just like people used to do with film photography. Here you can also do this. So I'm going to lighten, size, strength. I'm going to brighten up this area over here. Take down the size, maybe add a bit more 3D pop over here. Brighten this thing and then darken. I'm going to darken the subject because it's, it's a bit too bright like this. And then you just play around with this until you have a satisfactory looking image. So with a bit of tweaking, we come from this to this. And if I just want to see the dodging and burning effect, I go under my edits and these are all the things that I've done. So first the vignette then the dodging and burning. So before, after, much better. Now let's start spicing things up. And this is where I find Luminar Neo to be really magical because up until now, you can do this in pretty much any editing software like Lightroom or Photoshop. But from this point on, we start using those Luminar Neo special tools. So the first thing I'm going to play with colors, I'm going to add a bit more color harmony. This gives a vivid vibe, but on a more intelligent level. So before and after it punches up just the right colors. Then I'm going to prevent a bit of the color spill. So we go under colors and I can remove color cast. This is, you know, like if, if you have something yellow and it kind of casts its yellow color to the surrounding objects, well, this removes that and it makes a much cleaner, you know, nice colorful, but cleaner image. Okay, this looks nice. Okay, now we add the magical touches. First of all, mystical. This adds that kind of misty, 
no um, a fairy tale look to it so if i overdo it you can see it's it's way too much but you no know, just just the right amount like this and glow now glow makes the image glow and you have a bunch of these to choose from i like the orton effect which i used to do in photoshop manually maybe i'll do a video on this someday but here you have it and you have the soft version where you can just add this so you can see how much the whole image starts to become dreamy now i did take away a lot of the structure of the photo so i'm going to go under structure ai right over here and bring some of the structure back this is like clarity so no 3d structure clarity type thing and for the final touches i'm going to add yet another vignette but this time around just like an overall vignette around the edges like this and there you have it if you go under the catalog again we have the before and after i mean oh my god you know it was so easy just shifting a few sliders and we created this really magical image so there you have it i hope you guys found this interesting i hope you learned something new if you want to try luminar neo use the link down in the description and get i think it's 10 percent off and i really do recommend if you are going to do landscape or pretty much any other type of photography it does give you the really special magical look by just moving a few sliders around and you're still not really faking the image everything's still there we haven't erased anything so it is just like an enhancement to bring out the vibe of you know this environment that i was in when i was photographing so anyway if you're new to the channel consider subscribing and hit the like button for the algorithm it really helps and if you guys want to stay on the channel then go watch this video over here and i'll see you in this one bye bye